You are listening to the Free to Be Mindful podcast, which provides bite-sized tips for busy parents, educators, and anyone working with kids. These real talk conversations focus on mindful living, mental health, and personal growth, helping all to learn, grow, and inspire with mindfulness in mind. I'm your host, Vanessa De Jesus Guzman, educator, licensed professional counselor, entrepreneur, and mom. I'm passionate about helping folks live life with peace of mind and ease of heart while not losing their, well, you know, here we go. Hello and welcome back to the Free to Be Mindful podcast. I hope that you're feeling good, looking good, and doing better in this world than you were yesterday. So this week, I'm purposely releasing the podcast on a different day, the day that you're listening to this. If it's real time, it is Tuesday, May 24th, and it is Free to Be Mindful's third birthday. And if you are a brand new listener on this podcast, I provide bite-sized tips for parents and educators to help along with the journey of mental health, mindful living, and personal growth. So today, if you indulge me, I would love to just share with you the journey of Free to Be Mindful and what it took to get here on Free to Be Mindful's third birthday. So as you may know, I started my career off as a teacher, then changed to become a school counselor. And just recently, after 18 years of working in the public school system for New Jersey, I have resigned slash retired from education and have gone to do private practice full time. I love my clients and I love to see the growth that they make, whether they are five years old or 50 years old and anywhere in between. I love to help out clients individually and via group therapy. But I knew that I wanted Free to Be Mindful to be something more, something grander than just therapy. So when I established the business before then, I always knew I wanted to work with kids more time than I could in a school and work with moms specifically because Because as being a mom myself, I know all of the hardships and all of the challenges that being a mom brings. And sometimes it seems that people just expect moms to do it well, all with a smile and even while looking good. But it can be really challenging to run a household and be a working mom and still follow your passion and your dreams. And thankfully to my support system and to having a strong work ethic and a a very personal perseverance drive, I've been able to accomplish all of that. So I established Free to Be Mindful with the hopes of doing more for kids and for moms. And while I was working two full-time jobs as a school counselor, from 7.45 to 3 p.m. and typically after 3 p.m. as well. I was then doing in-home therapy to earn the 3,500 hours needed to earn your full-on licensure, which means that you technically don't need supervision once you become a licensed professional counselor. But as a pre-licensed associate counselor, I needed supervision on a weekly basis. So I would work my full-time job at a school and then go out after school and do in-home therapy when working with kids and families. And then I would get home super exhausted. And it was through one specific visit. I remember exactly who the family was. And the mom was in tears and really just, you know, divulging information. And she had so much on her plate crying in Spanish because there weren't a lot of Spanish speaking clinicians as it is where I was helping her. And that's what came to me that moms need something more. And that is when I created the idea of Amiga Moms, which the slogan is mindful mommies lead to happy families. Moms need as much support as they can get in order to be the everything or to carry out the roles that they wear for their families, because we can't expect kids to function at a hundred percent and function well if moms are not. So that is where the idea of Amiga Moms came. 
and I worked in between the two full-time jobs and taking care of my family, I worked to create a conference. I called it a social because who really wants to go to a conference? The mission of Amiga Moms is to empower 21st century mothers through a supportive network and educational events with informative practices to become more patient and more mindful moms. So I hosted social and educational events to provide a social outlet that teach mindfulness strategies so that moms can be more present in their kids' lives and so that they themselves can live lives with peace of mind and ease of heart. I then started renting a space, coincidentally right next to the office space that I am in now, to provide mindfulness classes for kids, where I would tie in social emotional learning with mindfulness strategies while using movement and literature in an hour class to teach kids on how to self-regulate, how to manage big emotions while learning about mindfulness. And once that was going so well, I thought, oh, how awesome would it be to have a space of my own that could eventually be a private practice and provide these mindfulness classes and provide a space for moms to have a social outlet and learn mindfulness strategies themselves. And on a whim, just out of curiosity, I started looking for places around my area and I guess it was meant to be because on September 11th, 2019, I secured this office space that you see if you're watching me on YouTube. So with that, I continued providing mindfulness classes for kids until March, 2020. And we all know what happened then. And then I needed to pivot onto virtual classes, which were sponsored for a year and a half after that by Horizon Blue Cross Blue Shields of New Jersey. In addition to that, I then needed to move the Amiga Moms events from in-person to virtual events. And the office stayed empty for quite some time. In December of 2020, I then had the idea to create the Free to Be Mindful podcast. So we put that into place and that was an awesome way to also share the message past people who live in New Jersey because there are listeners from all over the world, which is really amazing and I am so appreciative of. Once things got better, I started seeing people in person and virtually continued with the virtual mindfulness classes for kids, continued with the virtual Amiga Moms events. And that was, I feel like all of 2021. And toward the end of 2021 and the beginning of 2022, I've added additional services onto the Free to Be Mindful roster. And those include obviously therapy for kids and therapy for moms. It also also includes educational consultations for families undergoing the child study team process to obtain an IEP or an INRS slash RTI process or a 504 process within the state of New Jersey. I help and guide families through these processes um, and look over documents to make sure that children are getting everything that they need. In addition to co-creating Mindfulness with People of Color, where we see you because we are you, which is a membership community that I have co-created with two other amazing women. And that's open to to anyone worldwide, where we provide education on mindfulness and a live guided meditation on a monthly basis as well. And now in 2022, I am so looking forward to going back to in-person Amiga Moms events and bigger and greater things that are on the horizon, a lot of things to come. So you see that the story isn't linear and there were a lot of ups and downs, especially after March, 2020, where I wasn't even using this office space and needed to obviously continue to pay for it while also figuring out how I can pivot free to be mindful in order to best support people, moms, kids, while everybody was going through those difficult times. So it is quite interesting when we look at someone's success, when we look at a story, it's really easy to see, oh, wouldn't that be nice? Or how easy it came for them. Or, you know, it seemed like it happened overnight. It was an overnight success. But really, there are so many ups and downs to everyone's stories. Obviously, some have more ups and some have more downs. 
but everyone has a journey regardless of what their ultimate goal is. So with time, so many things have developed, so many things have grown, and it came after taking many, many risks. It came after leaping through faith, hoping that things would work out, especially after leaving a career of 18 years in education. And all of this is not just to toot my own horn, but all of this is really to share with you that again, journeys are not linear. And sometimes it seems like we have to jump through hoops of fire to obtain things. And while I shared with you some of the highlights that Free to Be Mindful has experienced, I haven't shared with you all of the nights that I've cried, (laughs) all of the nights, especially during the pandemic where I was wondering what's going to happen to the office space, all of the nights where I spend brainstorming as to how else I can further serve the community or people on a greater scale, all of the endless amounts of hours that go into presentations to prepare for speaking opportunities that I have come across to engage educators and businesses and organizations. It doesn't highlight the 80 pound weight gain that I underwent in a matter of three years while I was earning my full licensure. And then all of the hours on the Peloton (laughs) And now running outside as I train for a 5K where I am working to taking off 50 plus pounds thus far, it doesn't show all of the behind the scenes that people have to undergo in order to make things be a success. And it's something that doesn't really have an end point. I mean, I guess it kind of can. But there's always brainstorming involved. There's always thinking involved. There's always ways to search on how one can evolve and how a business can evolve to further reach its mission. And in case you were wondering, Free to Be Mindful's mission is to help kids, mothers, and educators become emotionally healthy, strengthen relationships, and live life with peace of mind and ease of hearts. And Free to Be Mindful focuses on mindful living, mental health, and personal growth, helping all to learn, grow, and inspire with mindfulness in mind, which are all aspects that you listen to week after week on the Free to Be Mindful podcast, which has a similar mission as well. So my friends, if you have a dream, if you have a goal, if you are unhappy where you are in life right now, if you are unhappy with the way that you choose to parent right now, yes, it can take a long time. And yes, there can be many hurdles and obstacles in front of you, but do know that it's possible. It's possible. And sometimes the hours are endless and sometimes The pillow doesn't seem to catch all of the tears, but it is completely possible to make your dreams come true. And it's not only through perseverance and hard work and a grand work ethic, although those are certainly qualities that definitely help, but also the aspect of mindfulness helps a ton. There is something to be said for the ability to be able to ground yourself in the space that you're in to be able to be aware of what's happening within yourself, within your heart, within your mind, and in the space around you, to figure out where there is a void in life that you can fill through your naturally given talents and through your passions and your hard work. And then the added step after that is not only once figuring all of that out, is to be able to take the space, to be mindful and carve out the time to have peace and have a sense of calm in order to figure out how to carry all of this out, how to communicate this in the best way possible for whoever you serve, for the community, also to communicate it for yourself, to keep a level work-life balance, which I know is easier said than done because I live it myself, and to find peace and find happiness in your personal life, in your business life, 
in all of the many relationships that you carry in order to feel peace and ease and happiness within yourself. And all of these things are aspects that mindfulness helps with. I am so thankful to have my mindfulness practice because I truly believe that it not only helps me to be a better mom and a better businesswoman, but a better person all the way around. It really helps me focus on self-care. It helps me focus on what I need and even what I don't need. And then it helps me have the courage to put that aside. It helps me have the courage to let go of judgment of myself and to put myself out there and with the right things behind me, hope for the best and hope that I'm able to serve all of you, all of you who I serve in private practice through therapeutic services, through teaching for virtual mindfulness classes for kids and through the Mindfulness People of Color membership community, through building community as with the Amiga Moms community and through you listening to the Free to Be Mindful podcast. So with all of that being said, I invite you to celebrate Free to Be Mindful's third birthday with me. And a review would be greatly appreciated, and that would be a perfect birthday gift as we continue to do great work here on the Free to Be Mindful team. So thank you so much. I greatly appreciate all of your support. And as a thank you, I invite you to check out the show notes for a free PDF guide on talking to kids without losing your cool, because if you're a parent or educator, this is definitely meant for you. And I now invite you to join me on this short guided meditation. So right now, regardless of where you are or what you're doing, I invite you to take a breath in through your nose as you count to four, hold your breath for two counts and release it for six. Again, breathe in for four, hold for two, and release for six. As you continue to breathe in the way that best suits you while still making your exhalations longer than your inhalations, I want you to think of a recent win that you've had. Perhaps it's an achievement, something that you were not doing that you have begun doing, something that is quite close in reach of your grasp, any success that you may have experienced. Think of all of the hard work or perhaps maybe luck or fortune that went towards reaching the success point. And bring a smile to your face. Let go of any of the heaviness that came along with that work that you've had to experience, that you've had to put forth. And while you carve out that space and let go of those feelings, you can make space for celebrations, for smiles, for a pat on the back, for a self-care celebration gift. We work so hard that sometimes we forget to celebrate ourselves and bring joy to the spaces that we work so hard for. Remember that you deserve to be celebrated because you are you and there's nobody else like you. Have a great week. I hope you enjoyed this week's show. It would mean a ton if you took this moment to review the Free to Be Mindful podcast on the platform you catch your favorite shows. That quick and easy act lets me know what you enjoy and it helps others find the podcast too. And of course, don't forget to subscribe so you can listen along next week. In the meantime, I welcome you to catch me on social media at Counselor V. De Jesus. 
And as always, remember, in a world where you are free to be anything that you want to be, you are always free to be mindful. Catch you next week.